Hey everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome to Silver Linings. And it's time for another edition of Tuesday Wig of the Week, right here, right now. Today, I discovered a brand new color on a brand new wig. And without further ado, here she is right now. Her name is Wren. She is from the Rene of Paris collection. And her color is Milky Opal. You can see it right up there. And if you don't know who Taz is from Taz's Wig Closet, that's where this review has been taken from. And we're going to listen to Taz talk about the color in a moment. But before we do, I want to show you a couple of other screens. So I got to thinking about the color opal. That looks to me like a milky opal. And so when I heard Taz talk about this color milky opal, and it bring, being not only a brand new wig, style, but a brand new color. It really got my attention. So let's go back to Taz and let's listen as she describes the color Milky Opal. I always love to hear people describe color because it's such a difficult thing to... It's like trying to describe a fragrance over the internet. It's it's really nearly impossible. So we're going to try to give you lots of visuals so that you know or have at least some idea of what it looks like. Now I love to hear how Taz describes color. I love to hear how she describes anything. She's really a master communicator and she does a great job des describing Ren by Rene of Paris. So let's listen. This is the Milky Opal R and it is really icy and ashy in tone. So, did you hear that? Icy and ashy in tone. Icy. Based on what I am looking at just with my own eye, what you have to remember is these types of colors really pick up on the lighting around me. It makes it look a little shinier and lighter and brighter than it is an actual. There's nothing yeah, now let me just speak to that for a moment because, uh, as you know, if you follow me, that I, most of my reviews are on silver gray, gray white hair. My own hair is white, and of course this is my bio hair today, what there is of it, and it, even with natural hair, I've got a diffuser on my ring light, and you can see the... the um, the uh, reflection in my glasses, it's very, very difficult with lighting. So we really try hard to bring you the, the most realistic color that we can. But with those white fibers, the light from whatever the source is, whether it's sunlight, whether it's artificial light, it just bounces off the fibers and it can make the white look much whiter than it is. So that's really what Taz is talking about right at this point. And by the way, doesn't she look terrific? Oh my goodness, she looks like she's 27 years old. Taz, you are ageless. <laughs> Here we go. Nothing I can do about that. If you want to see me, if you want to see my set, I have to have these lights. Just know that they do make it look a little bit lighter and brighter. They do. Now, I can already tell just by looking into the viewfinder here that this color is probably going to come across so ashy that it looks a little bit gray. I assure you there is no gray at all in this color. Um, although I feel like it would be an amazing color to transition to gray, or if you like rooted uh, gray shades, this would also be a nice color to, to try. Okay, so let's break it down here. To my eye, that first color is, that base color is an icy toned white. White, yay! Now that white is more icy, not flat. And when I say toned, I just mean that it's very, very cool um, and may appear on camera as gray again. It's not gray, it is white. And then what kind of levels this up into that extra cool, almost gray, is the, uh, the icy medium to dark ash blonde highlighting. You can definitely see that. Now the ash blonde is the only thing that's giving this any kind of dimension and warmth. Uh, but again, it's not a warm color. I think you can kind of pick out this ash blonde in there. 
And then it's more, the ash blonde is more heavily concentrated in, in, the, in the nape area, which I noticed when I took it out of the box. And I think that also gives it some really beautiful dimension. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. This icy toned white and an icy ash, darker ash blonde. Now, I had purchased Henry Margu's 6101GR after watching one of Taz's reviews of Athena. And she really recommended in a, in a private uh, text to me that I should try that color. And that 6101 GR was one of the one of my first departures from just a true silver or white or gray wig, and I absolutely loved it. And I, I've just never looked back. So now I'll I will branch out a little bit more on these wigs that aren't pure silver, pure gray, pure white. It's gorgeous. It is really, really gorgeous. Really and if you love those ash, light ash tones, platinums, whites, um, absent of any kind of yellow or gold, you're going to... She's talking to me. <laughs> absent of any yellow or gold because it doesn't look good with my complexion. I am a pure white or silver white wig wearer. Thank you, Taz. You know I want to buy this wig, Taz. You you know if you're watching this review. I'm going to love this. So let's talk about this root. The root is more of a medium-toned brown root. Okay, I think it transitions well. Um, it's not too golden as if to really clash with the the cool, the icy cool tones of the milky opal. Okay, so if you haven't seen that whole review by Taz, I know a lot of the people who follow me follow Taz, vice versa. Um, but I will, of course, link that full review for you below. And I love it when she went outside because you could really see a lot, a lot more of the color when she went outside. So this wig is available, Wren. Over at Wig Studio One, this video is not sponsored by Wig Studio One. I am a guest reviewer for Wig Studio One, so I am a little bit partial uh, to talk about purchasing wigs from them, and that's where I purchase my wigs also. So here it is. Just head over to Wig Studio One and type in at, at the uh, search sign. Well, the link below will take you right there, but you can always just go to that search sign and type in for whatever wig that you're looking for. And usually they have it. So once again, this has been a review of the beautiful Wren by Renee of Paris in the color Milky Opal. Links are below. I think this is an absolutely stunner of a wig. And listen, I know that a lot of you don't like longer hair, but a lot of you do. And this would be a specialized wig for me. I think Taz might have even said that in her comments or her, her reviews somewhere, but the longer wigs, we usually save them for, for special occasions like an anniversary or a wedding, but they're nice to have. And even if you don't wear the, the, the hair down, well, you can always pick it up on your head. You could, you could put it in a bun at the nape of your, your neck. You could pull it on the side, put a, a really pretty hair accessory in it. There's just so much that you can do. Okay, so before I say goodbye, I wanted to show you that um, Ren by Renee of Paris over at Wig Studio One, they're having a flash sale today. Again, we don't usually like to talk about price, but here she is. And if I put her in my cart, the price is $2.29. And she... If I put her in my cart, she would cost me today $160.30, everyone. So if you love this wig, head over there um, while the colors are still plentiful in whatever color you like. So thanks so much for watching. If you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And remember, always look for the silver linings, everyone. Bye-bye.